American values basically translates this to racism, essentially, and their religious values, of course, are intolerance of anybody else's uh, belief or position, yeah. whatever. So I, I just see it as constant prejudice, and all of their platforms are look at look at look at this for example woke is what everybody's talking about that's the worst thing you can be according to these people right and woke just means and and sometimes i i got this from the ron DeSantis campaign they know what the right definition is you know being woke means being aware that certain right. demographics have a, a little more, more disparity probably more issues to deal with than cisgendered white heterosexual guys like me right or just uh just the, the standard run-of-the-mill um maybe even woke it kind of is to me I, I think it's just political correctness but but in in their eyes but or it's whatever they make their own definitions up because they can't define it but i I always well, thought of it as just mindfulness. Like in Buddhism, they talk about mindfulness. It's just like you said, awareness, just being mindful of other people. Basically. Yeah. I mean, I, political correctness, political, I've seen, I've heard these complaints about political correctness for a long time because people just don't want to have any compassion for anyone else. Right. But if, if you're advocating for somebody else's rights for a problem you don't have, like if you're a straight person advocating for gay rights, if you're, a man advocating for women's rights, whatever, that's that's you know, that's not even your lane. You know, if if this isn't your problem, why are you why don't you shut up? Right? That's that's their perspective. It's like they they can't they can't advocate for gay rights until they realize their son is gay. Right. Or or something like that. It has to personally affect them. But and so if you're dealing with somebody that you realize that Hey, I realize that uh, you know, women might have more issues in this situation than me, or you know, if they're if they're female and they're black and they're and they're Muslim and they're whatever, then there's probably a compounded thing that that they're going to have a little bit more issues in this situation than I would. Right. That's all that means, right? Is that that doesn't mean that you have to fear doesn't mean you have to bend over backwards. It doesn't mean you have to do anything particular. Just try not to be the problem, right? Or contribute to the problem, but that's the worst thing you can be is compassionate for other people. I don't understand that. Right. It's all fear and paranoia based. And I just was watching the RNC convention and you could see that on display there that the first day, I think they had a Sikh lady. I think she was Sikh. She was a Sikh nationalist and they were all.
from melting down because she did a prayer. I mean, she's right wing too. That just shows how a lot of times these nationalist right wings, uh, different groups, they'll try to come together, but they always end up fighting each other because they all think they're right based on their religion usually. But um, and that you Indeed. know this this boils down to like why I got involved in politics and became an activist my 